Dear listeners, tonight I beckon you to step into a realm of dreams where ancient castles guard their secrets and every shadow holds a whisper of the past. Relax, close your eyes, and let the story whisk you away to the mystical highlands where the stones of a grand old castle tell tales of love, betrayal, and a forbidden union. Prepare to be enchanted as we journey together through the hidden passages and forgotten crypts of Highland Castle, uncovering secrets of strength, wisdom, and sacrifice that have stood the test of time. Join me as we unravel a story of timeless romance and haunting mysteries. Unveil the Secrets of Highland Castle A tale of love, mystery, and ghostly whispers. Fiona MacLeod was a writer noted for her suspenseful supernatural stories. She had always had a strong affinity for the secrets of the unknown. Her most recent journey had taken her to Scotland's untamed and untamed highlands, where an old castle awaited her discovery. The route had been difficult and drawn out, putting her resolve and the endurance of her small automobile to the test on the twisting tight roads. She was astounded by what she saw when she eventually arrived at her destination. The castle loomed large against the backdrop of misty hills and dense forests. Its stone walls, weathered by centuries of harsh Scottish weather, whispered secrets of bygone eras. Each stone seemed to tell a story and Fiona could almost hear the murmurs of the past carried on the cool highland breeze. The structure, though aged and covered in creeping ivy, stood resilient and majestic, a testament to the enduring spirit of those who had built and once inhabited it. As Fiona stepped out of her car, the crunch of gravel underfoot broke the profound silence that enveloped the castle grounds. She took a moment to absorb the atmosphere, her eyes tracing the outline of the castle's towering battlements and the elegant, albeit slightly crumbling, turrets. A sense of anticipation tingled in her veins. This was not just any castle. It was a place steeped in history, where the past and present seemed to blur, creating an almost palpable aura of mystery. The grand entrance of the castle, a massive wooden door reinforced with iron bands, stood slightly ajar as if inviting her to step into its shadowy depths. As Fiona approached, a raven cawed in the distance, its cry echoing off the stone walls and adding to the eerie ambience. The air was thick with the scent of damp earth and ancient wood, a scent that seemed to whisper of hidden corridors and long-forgotten secrets. Determined and undeterred by the castle's intimidating presence, Fiona pushed open the heavy door, the creak of the hinges resonating through the empty hall. The interior was dimly lit, with only slivers of light piercing through the narrow windows, casting long shadows that danced on the stone floor. The silence inside was almost tangible, broken only by the occasional drip of water from a leaky ceiling somewhere in the distance. Her footsteps echoed softly as she made her way through the entrance hall, her eyes taking in the grandeur of her surroundings. The high ceilings were supported by massive wooden beams, and faded tapestries adorned the walls, depicting scenes of battles, hunts, and courtly life. Each tapestry, though worn and frayed at the edges, told a story of its own, 
adding layers to the castle's rich history. Fiona's curiosity was piqued as she noticed portraits of long-gone nobility lining the walls. Their eyes seemed to follow her as she moved, their expressions a mix of sternness and curiosity. She couldn't help but wonder about the lives they had led, the dramas that had unfolded within these very walls, and the secrets they might still be guarding. After exploring a few more rooms, each filled with dusty furniture covered in white sheets, Fiona found her quarters. It was a charming, albeit dusty, room on the second floor, with a large window overlooking the castle grounds. The room was furnished with an antique bed, a writing desk, and a small fireplace. Though time-worn, there was a certain warmth and comfort to the room, as if it had been waiting for her arrival. Fiona set down her suitcase and began to unpack, her mind racing with thoughts of the days ahead. She could hardly wait to delve into the castle's history, to uncover the stories hidden within its walls, and to perhaps encounter the ghostly apparitions that were said to haunt the halls. The thrill of the unknown, the promise of uncovering hidden histories, and the allure of the supernatural filled her with a sense of purpose and excitement. As she settled in, Fiona's eyes were drawn to a large tapestry hanging on the wall opposite her bed. It depicted a regal scene, with a noblewoman standing on a balcony overlooking a grand courtyard. There was something hauntingly familiar about the woman's face, something that seemed to beckon Fiona to uncover her story. She made a mental note to investigate the tapestry further, feeling that it held a significant clue to the castle's past. Night began to fall and the castle took on an even more mysterious and ghostly appearance. The play of shadows and the soft glow of the moonlight filtering through the windows gave the old stone walls a life of their own. Fiona, despite the long journey, felt a surge of energy and inspiration. This castle, with its secrets and its silent stories, was the perfect place for her next novel. With a final glance around her room, Fiona sat at the antique writing desk and opened her notebook. She began to jot down her initial impressions, the ideas flowing freely as she described the castle's imposing presence and the sense of history that seemed to permeate every corner. She knew that this was just the beginning of an extraordinary adventure, one that would take her deep into the heart of the Highlands and perhaps even deeper into the mysteries of the past. The days that followed Fiona's arrival at the ancient Scottish castle were filled with a mix of excitement and a deep sense of curiosity. She spent her time wandering through the castle's many rooms and corridors, each one offering new clues and pieces of history. The castle was a labyrinth of secrets, with hidden doors, narrow passageways, and winding staircases that seemed to lead nowhere. Fiona's explorations soon brought her to the castle's watchtowers, which stood tall and imposing, offering a commanding view of the surrounding highlands. One particular day, as Fiona ascended the spiral staircase leading to the northern watchtower, she couldn't shake the feeling that she was not alone. The air grew colder with each step she took, and a strange, almost electric sensation prickled at her skin. Reaching the top, she stepped out onto the battlements and gazed across the misty landscape. 
The wind howled through the crenellations, carrying with it an eerie, almost mournful tune. Fiona pulled her coat tighter around her, trying to ward off the chill that seemed to emanate from the very stones beneath her feet. Despite the unsettling atmosphere, Fiona was determined to continue her investigation. She spent hours in the watchtower, examining the ancient stonework and the view it offered. The highlands stretched out before her, a sea of rolling hills and dark forests that seemed endless. There was a sense of timelessness here, as if the watchtower had stood witness to countless events, both mundane and extraordinary. Fiona couldn't help but feel that these stones had stories to tell, if only she could decipher their silent language. That evening, with the sun setting behind the hills and casting long shadows across the castle grounds, Fiona retreated to the castle's musty library. It was a grand room, filled with shelves upon shelves of ancient manuscripts, dusty tomes, and crumbling parchments. The smell of aged paper and leather filled the air, and Fiona's fingers tingled with anticipation as she ran them along the spines of the books. Here she hoped to find records and writings that could shed light on the castle's history and the ghostly apparitions she was convinced inhabited its walls. She settled into a large, worn armchair by the fireplace, pulling a stack of old manuscripts onto her lap. As she carefully turned the brittle pages, she felt a deep connection to the past, as if she were reaching across time to touch the lives of those who had come before her. The library was silent, except for the soft crackling of the fire and the occasional rustle of paper. Outside the wind continued to howl, rattling the windows and adding to the room's eerie ambiance. Fiona had been engrossed in her reading for several hours when she suddenly heard soft footsteps echoing down the hallway outside the library. Her heart skipped a beat and she held her breath, listening intently. The footsteps were light and measured, almost hesitant, as if whoever was making them was unsure of their path. Fiona felt a chill run down her spine. She knew she was the only living soul in the castle, or so she thought. Summoning her courage, Fiona rose from her chair and quietly made her way to the library door. She hesitated for a moment, her hand hovering over the doorknob before finally pulling it open. The hallway beyond was dimly lit by flickering candle sconces, casting long, dancing shadows along the stone walls. The footsteps had stopped, and an eerie silence filled the corridor. Fiona stepped out into the hallway, her senses heightened and her heart pounding in her chest. She moved slowly, her eyes scanning the shadows for any sign of movement. Just as she was about to turn back, a faint glow caught her attention at the far end of the hallway. Fiona's breath caught in her throat as the glow grew brighter gradually taking the shape of a figure. It was a translucent, ghostly apparition dressed in regal attire, its form shimmering in the dim light. The figure appeared to be that of a woman, her face both beautiful and sorrowful, her eyes filled with a haunting wisdom. Fiona stood frozen, her mind racing. The ghostly presence seemed to acknowledge her, its gaze meeting hers with a kind of ethereal awareness. For a moment time seemed to stand still, and Fiona felt as if she were looking into the very soul of the past. The apparition raised a hand, as if in greeting or perhaps in warning, 
and then, as quickly as it had appeared, it vanished into the shadows, leaving Fiona alone in the silent corridor. Shaken but resolute, Fiona returned to the library, her mind ablaze with questions and theories. She knew she had just witnessed something extraordinary, something that could not be easily explained. The ghostly figure had seemed almost alive, filled with a presence and an energy that lingered, even after it had disappeared. Fiona's encounter only deepened her determination to uncover the castle's secrets. There was a story here, a story that needed to be told, and she was more determined than ever to bring it to light. As she sat back down by the fire, Fiona's hands trembled slightly, but her resolve was stronger than ever. She picked up one of the ancient manuscripts and began to read once more. Her mind focused on the task at hand. She was certain that the answers she sought were hidden within these pages, and she was prepared to spend as long as it took to find them. The castle, with its ghostly inhabitants and its rich history, had captured her heart and her imagination and she would not rest until she had uncovered its deepest mysteries. The encounter with the ghostly figure in the hallway had left Fiona both shaken and resolute. Determined to uncover the mysteries of the castle and the apparition that had acknowledged her, she spent the following days delving deeper into the castle's hidden corners. The ancient manuscripts in the library provided tantalizing hints, but she knew there was more to discover. Driven by an insatiable curiosity, she meticulously explored every room, every nook and cranny, searching for clues that might unlock the secrets of the past. One afternoon, while examining a dusty and forgotten corner of the library, Fiona's hand brushed against the back of an old bookshelf. To her astonishment, the shelf shifted slightly. Intrigued, she pushed harder, and with a low groan the entire bookshelf swung inward, revealing a narrow, dark passageway. Heart pounding with excitement, Fiona grabbed her flashlight and stepped into the hidden corridor. The air inside was cold and heavy with the scent of earth and decay. Her flashlight flickered ominously, casting long shadows that seemed to dance on the damp stone walls. As Fiona ventured deeper into the passage, the sound of her footsteps echoed eerily amplifying the sense of isolation and mystery. She could feel the weight of centuries pressing down on her, the silence filled with unspoken secrets. The passageway twisted and turned, leading her further underground. The air grew colder, and the smell of decay intensified. Fiona's flashlight beam caught glimpses of cobweb-covered coffins lining the walls, their wooden surfaces cracked and worn with age. Each coffin seemed to whisper tales of forgotten lives, buried deep beneath the castle. She shivered, both from the cold and the sheer gravity of the history surrounding her. After what felt like an eternity, Fiona reached the end of the passageway. There in the dim light, she saw a large sealed chest nestled among the coffins. Her heart raced with anticipation as she approached it. The chest was ornate, with intricate carvings that hinted at its age and significance. Fiona knelt beside it, her hands trembling as she carefully pried it open. Inside she found a collection of jumbled letters and diaries, their pages yellowed and brittle with age. The writings were in a delicate, flowing script, 
and as she began to read, Fiona realized the magnitude of her discovery. The letter spoke of a forbidden love between a Scottish princess and an English prince, a love that defied the boundaries of their warring kingdoms. The diaries detailed secret meetings, hidden away from prying eyes, and the deep, unbreakable bond that had formed between the two lovers. Fiona's hands shook with excitement as she read the words, each sentence revealing more about the passionate and tragic love story. The princess, a woman of great beauty and strength, had fallen in love with the prince during a chance encounter at a royal gathering. Despite the political tensions between their countries, their love had blossomed in secret, each meeting filled with the promise of unity and peace. The letters and diaries also hinted at a secret pact made by the lovers, a plan to unite their kingdoms through marriage and bring an end to the hostilities that had plagued their lands for generations. Fiona's mind raced as she pieced together the details realizing the significance of their plan. This was no ordinary love story. It was a tale of courage, sacrifice, and the hope for a brighter future. As she continued to read, Fiona felt a deep connection to the princess and the prince, their emotions and struggles resonating with her own desire to uncover the truth. The writings were filled with moments of joy and sorrow, triumph and despair, painting a vivid picture of their forbidden romance. Fiona could almost see them, standing together in the moonlight, whispering promises of love and unity. The final entries in the diaries were heartbreaking, detailing the tragic end of their love story. The princess and the prince had been discovered, their plan to unite the kingdoms thwarted by those who opposed their union. They had been forced to part, their dreams shattered, but their love had endured even in death. Fiona's eyes filled with tears as she read their final words, a testament to their undying devotion. With the letters and diaries in hand, Fiona made her way back through the passageway, her mind a whirl with the revelations she had uncovered. She knew that this discovery was of immense historical importance, a story that needed to be told. The ghostly figure she had encountered now made sense. It was the spirit of the princess, bound to the castle by the unresolved fate of her love, and the promise of unity that had never been fulfilled. Fiona felt a renewed sense of purpose as she emerged from the hidden passage and into the library. She carefully laid out the letters and diaries on the table, their delicate pages illuminated by the soft glow of the fireplace. She knew that her work here was far from over, the story of the Scottish princess and the English prince needed to be brought to light, their love and their dreams honoured and remembered. As she sat down to begin transcribing the writings, Fiona felt the presence of the princess beside her, a gentle, comforting energy that seemed to guide her hand. She knew that she was not alone in her quest, that the spirit of the princess was with her, urging her to share their story with the world. And so, with a heart full of determination and a soul inspired by the past, Fiona began to write, her words weaving together the tale of a love that had transcended time and space and the promise of unity that still echoed within the ancient walls of the castle. Late one night, 
as a biting wind howled outside and the castle seemed to creak and groan with the weight of centuries, Fiona sat by the flickering fireplace in her quarters, the warmth of the flames a stark contrast to the chilling mysteries she was unravelling. Spread out before her were the letters and diaries she had discovered in the hidden crypts, their delicate pages telling a tale of forbidden love and unfulfilled dreams. She carefully deciphered the elegant flowing script, her fingers tracing the faded ink as she pieced together the tragic story of Lady Eleanor and her English prince. The fire cast long shadows on the walls, creating an atmosphere that felt both cosy and otherworldly. Fiona was so engrossed in her work that she almost didn't notice the room growing colder. A sudden inexplicable chill made her shiver, and she looked up, her heart skipping a beat. There, standing by the window, was the ghostly figure she had encountered before. This time, however, the apparition was clearer, more defined, as if the veil between the past and the present had grown thinner. The ghostly figure was that of a young woman, dressed in regal attire from a bygone era. Her face was hauntingly beautiful, with eyes that seemed to hold the weight of countless sorrows and unspoken words. Fiona's breath caught in her throat as the figure began to speak, her voice soft and melodic yet filled with another worldly echo. I am Lady Eleanor, the ghostly figure said, her gaze meeting Fiona's with a mixture of hope and longing. The princess whose letters you have found. Fiona's heart pounded in her chest as she listened, her mind racing with questions. Lady Eleanor's presence was both ethereal and commanding, a testament to the strength and grace she must have possessed in life. The ghost continued, her voice growing stronger with each word. My spirit is bound to this castle, Lady Eleanor explained, until the truth of my love for the English prince is known and our dream of unity is fulfilled. For centuries I have wandered these halls, waiting for someone to uncover our story and share it with the world. Fiona felt a surge of empathy for the spectral princess, the depth of Lady Eleanor's love, and the weight of her unfulfilled dreams resonated deeply within her. She understood now that the ghost's appearances had been a plea for help, a call to finally bring closure to a story that had been silenced by time. I promise to tell your story, Fiona said, her voice trembling with emotion. I will ensure that your love and your dream of unity are not forgotten. A sense of relief washed over Lady Eleanor's ghostly form, and a grateful smile appeared on her lips. Thank you, she said softly. You are the one I have been waiting for. With your help, our love can finally be remembered and the dream we held so dear can live on. As Lady Eleanor spoke, Fiona felt a profound sense of purpose take hold of her. The princess's story was not just a tale of love and tragedy, it was a testament to the power of hope and the enduring strength of the human spirit. Fiona knew that sharing this story would not only honour Lady Eleanor's memory, but also inspire others to believe in the possibility of unity and peace. Lady Eleanor's form began to shimmer and fade. The boundaries between the spiritual and the physical world growing indistinct once more. 
I am eternally grateful, she whispered, her voice growing fainter. May your words carry our love across the ages. With a final radiant smile, Lady Eleanor's ghostly figure vanished, leaving Fiona alone in the quiet room. The air gradually grew warmer, and the sense of otherworldly presence faded, replaced by a deep abiding peace. Fiona sat in silence for a moment, absorbing the enormity of what had just transpired. She felt as if she had been entrusted with a sacred mission, one that transcended time and space. The fire crackled softly, and Fiona turned her attention back to the letters and diaries before her. She picked up her pen, her mind and heart filled with inspiration. The story of Lady Eleanor and her prince flowed through her, their voices guiding her hand as she wrote. Each word she penned was a tribute to their love, a step toward fulfilling their dream of unity. Fiona wrote late into the night, her passion and dedication unwavering. She knew that this story was more than just a historical account. It was a beacon of hope, a reminder that love could conquer even the greatest of obstacles. As the first light of dawn began to filter through the castle's ancient windows, Fiona felt a sense of completion. She had not only found her next novel, but also a way to bring peace to a restless spirit. With a profound sense of accomplishment and a heart full of gratitude, Fiona set down her pen. She knew that the journey was far from over, but she felt confident and ready to share Lady Eleanor's story with the world. The ghost's revelation had given her a new sense of purpose, and she was determined to honor that trust. As she looked around the room, the shadows of the past seemed to recede, replaced by a bright and hopeful future. Fiona smiled, knowing that she had become a part of a story that transcended time, a story that would inspire and unite people for generations to come. Dear listeners, may your dreams be filled with the echoes of ancient tales and your heart with the courage of legendary heroes. Good night, and may you sleep peacefully wrapped in the whispers of the highlands. Until we meet again for another enchanting adventure, may the spirit of Highland Castle keep you company.